it's about time. What's going on? Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. So tonight is the first episode of my show, Established on Fox Soul. Established okay. with Angela Yee. Dropping the cool bomb for Established. Hosted by Angela Yee on Fox Soul. My dream guest was Method Man to be my first guest, and it worked out. He said yes and did it just because we do have history. Wu-Tang was the first place I ever worked. So we have a lot of little fun stories to talk about there. But one thing we discussed was being on time. And he uh, talked about acting. He was on Oz, if you all recall. He had a, a stint on Oz that got cut short because he showed up late. I saw you told the story about I think you were late one time and they killed you off. Yeah, I did Oz. And it was just... One day I'm just laying there and I'm like, man, I'm not getting up. I called them. I was like, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be a little late. They was like, yeah, don't even show up. I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm calling my manager. The manager's calling the assistant. The <laughs> assistant is relaying messages back and forth and being a real asshole about it too. And it was like, look, Tom says show up tomorrow on time and we'll see what we can do. So you know, I show up the next day. Then a new script came in and I read it and I was killed off. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Well. So you got to be on time, guys. But especially when it comes to that. And he also expands on it to talk about how much money goes into these productions and how it affects everybody else that's working and the whole entire schedule. That's very true. Mm -hmm. you, cost, you can cost a production yeah. a whole lot of money by being late. Especially something like The Wire back then for HBO. Man, you it was Oz. Oh, Oz? Oz. Well, Oz, that's still mm -hmm. a huge production for HBO. You know how, how much money they probably would spend in a day? An hour? Well. You know, fortunately for him, I think he's a truly professional person, so he was given other chances later, but that was a lesson learned early on. Killed him right off. Mm -hmm. Changed that script. All right, Black Thought. Now, he did an interview with Vulture, and he talked about getting complimented as your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. He said, depending on who it's coming from, it holds more weight. And it's more of a feeling of having accomplished what I intended to do in the beginning of my career or what I've been doing all this time. Then he discusses one of the most memorable compliments he ever received was within the last year. And this is when Rakim was a guest on the Wendy Williams show. Now, Wendy was talking about having a conversation with Rakim at dinner where they discussed top five MCs. Listen to this. You know, I'm like, Nas, you know, I run it down. You know, who's my top five? And then, you know, Rakim is like, I said, other than you, obviously, Ra. So you know what he said? He loves black thought. I was shocked, like, I like black thought, but I don't even think of him as a top five runner up. Well, black thought is cognac. Uh, black thought is wine. You know, he's, he's truly getting better with time. And I think with rap music, you know, the more experience you get, you know, the older you get, the more things that you just go through, you just have more things to discuss and talk about. Your, your knowledge and information is more vast. And I think that's why, you know, black thought is just getting better. Yeah, Black Dot said, I dropped the mic. Like, F all y'all haters, my work is done here. Mission accomplished. I was moved by that compliment. Yeah, he always gets busy. Black Dot has always been a top lyricist. Mm -hmm. And he's one of those people that's scratching the the, the, the age demographic in hip-hop, right? Because they always say, oh, hip-hop is a young man's sport. But I, that's that hasn't been the case for the past 10, 15 years. You know, you got these guys in their 40s snapping. Still snapping. Like yeah. Black Dot, like the Royce, the Five Nines. You know, then you got guys like Hov that are 50s, Scarface, 50s. Plus, like, these guys are incredible, you know? All right. And as y'all know, it is a difficult time for a lot of people, you know, just uh, speaking about the baby and his older brother who committed suicide. Really sad. Uh, Glenn Johnson. And we want to, again, give our condolences to the baby and his family. So the baby has shared a video to his social media with some advice on what we can be doing. Good morning. Check on your people. Mm. Somebody probably wants you to call and say, what's up, bro? You straight? We'll do that. That's right. Uh, dropping the clues bonds for the baby. You're putting green hearts in the air for your brother. Suicide is something that I don't quite understand, but I don't think it is for me to understand. You no, know? it's for when somebody's at their lowest and they feel like there's no other way out and they feel like actually not being here, it's better for their family, better for society, and better for the world. And the worst part about it is when you you know, do reach out to a person that you know is going through something, but, you know, they're going through something so much that they don't want to talk, so they cut off all communication with their, you know, loved ones. That's tough. It's the easiest way to do it, because that way you feel like you don't have to put that burden or that mm -hmm. whatever you're going through on anybody else, so you cut everybody else off and just try to deal with it by yourself. And a lot of times, you know, people look for outside things to cope, whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs, whatever it is, or whether it's just being in your own thoughts. 
Yeah, please don't. I'm never that busy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like if I know somebody's going through something in that way, like I'm I'm I'm, I'm never that busy. Mm-hmm. I got I got to stop and and have a conversation with you. You know, I was uh talking to some of our employees and I was having a conversation about how we don't know what's going on in other people's lives and right now like just be respectful of people. You don't know why somebody might be having an off day. Correct. And it's just I think a great time for us to be as uh, empathetic to people as we can. And it's been, it's been a rough year for some. Like, I, mm-hmm. I lost two friends mm-hmm. to suicide this year, you know? Rest in peace, Jasmine Waters. My man, uh, Shaquille Cardi, as well. So it's just like, you know. Yeah. All right, well, that is your rumor report. 